they're saying that their same car on the roadway, if it has a passenger in it, they'll pay a million dollars. If there's no one in it, they'll pay $50,000. And it's just a sham. Uh, Uber is trying a PR move to deal with the situation that they have not provided adequate insurance. And I want to just show something. This is their new announcement today. They want people to think, oh, now we're being good corporate citizens, but they're not. If you are a limousine or arranging a vehicle for, for hire to take you somewhere in California with seven passengers or less, it's $750,000 worth of coverage. That's from the moment the ignition starts till it's turned off. If you transport eight through 15 passengers, $1,500,000. But Uber has put itself in a separate category. And to say that someone's life is worth $50,000 when they're 10 feet away from being picked up by a ride, but somehow worth a million dollars when somebody is in that car taking a ride is ridiculous. And the other thing that Uber has done is said in this press release, that it has $50,000 worth of coverage, which is more than any other state requires. That's a lie. In, in California, if you are transporting people for hire, the minimum is $750,000. It's more than the, the average consumer needs to have as a minimum, which is $30,000. But these are not average consumers. This is a business. And who pays for that difference? You and I do, the taxpayers do. Because like the Lou family, who were injured and have no personal insurance to pay for their health care, they're being treated under the San Francisco public health system. So those costs from the harm that Uber causes that it won't cover are being passed along to the city. And at the end of the day, what's going to happen is a whole new industry is going to end up being regulated the same old way. But who's going to make the money in the meantime? The Uber executives. They are basically skimming cream off the top by not having to pay for insurance, workers' comp, vehicle inspections. They shift all of that to the drivers and to the public, and they take their percentage off the top. They're not regulated as to their fares. And at the end of the day, when regulation catches up with them, they're going to have a big pile of money and they're going to walk away.